Hi there, my name's Ross and welcome to Ribeye Studios. And behind me here, we've got one of our latest stock boats in the form of a new 683 with loads of really cool custom specification. It is boating season. So as I say, this is in stock and ready for you to get on the water this season. So let's head to the back of the boat and start there. So welcome to the transom area on this awesome 683 and something you get as standard on the 683 is huge steps which are actually part of the deck mouldings as you can see here and you'll see nothing's bolted on there's no ladders living on top of the steps which can make them redundant they really are part of the deck molding which allows this teak space to go right up to the splash well so this area here is perfect for just sitting on the side here with your legs in the water stepping on the back of the boat say from a pontoon if you're looking to berth inside a marina but also this area Area works really well for having say a wakeboard here because you can have your bindings here you step down with your feet into the bindings and you can pull your feet down into the boots as if you're putting kind of stepping into a snowboard or something like that and then you can literally slide off the back and then someone can chuck you your water sports line as you get ready for your perfect toe now you'll see here on the 683 we have our 60 millimeter stainless steel uh, mono towing mask and because we've gone really custom on the sort of design of this boat, we've chosen to powder coat that in white. And that ties in really nice with the ice white ribeye gel coat as well. So it really looks part of the superstructure. You'll see at the top there, we've upgraded the nav light. That's called a Lopo light, super high quality. You'll see those fitted on all of the ribeye super yacht tenders we export all around the world. We have the towing eye below, and below that there's two flag attachment points if you wanted to run a British Ensign or something like that. Whatever flag you want, have a bit of fun with it. It also makes a great sort of handrail for when you board the boat um, post having a swim or uh, a wakeboard or something like that. If we move around to the other step, I'm gonna to have to talk about this thing here. We've got a Yamaha 200 um, horsepower engine, super smooth, really quiet when you're doing those slower river cruises and really pokey as well. So really good for water sports. And what I love about this engine when coupled with this specific boat is you can only get these on special order, these white engines. They're really hard to get hold of. Um, so I think it really transformed just the uh, overall look of the back of this boat. So it ties in with the gel coat, ties in with the powder coated ski pole, just looks absolutely insane. Um, this side, I spoke about ladders not living on top of steps. So the ribeye design and engineers have designed this really cool cartridge ladder system, which is held in by a spring loaded system. So if I just pop that out like so, you'll see we have four steps there. So it's a really deep ladder and ergonomics are key with the design because you might just want to drop anchor somewhere and have a swim as we enter those warmer summer months. And you'll see as you come up the ladder here, naturally you're gonna to wanna to reach further inside the boat. So you have your swim handle here. We have the first handle. Then as you come up the steps, you're naturally gonna to wanna to reach further. So ergonomically, you've got this handle here. It stops you having to put your knees on the steps. And I think that's the best ladder system on the market and you've got to try it. Um, so it's something that works really, really well. And it just means you can certainly not worry about getting in the water because you can easily get out. Right, so we're inside the, uh, the deck of this uh, A683 and the first thing I've just got to comment on is the attention to detail on this boat is absolutely beautiful. Something we really pride ourselves down in Dartmouth where we design and engineer all of these boats is um, not only the way they drive in the sea, high volume deep V hulls, very soft, very dry riding, but the quality of fittings, the piping, the stitching design, this just feels like a really solid premium boat. So if you're looking for something that looks first class on the water, you've got to come and see just how we build these boats in Dartmouth, be it this one or another size. At the back here, super comfortable three person bench seat. Um, but another thing we really like to kind of comment on is the, uh, our approach to sort of ergonomics. So a high backrest, which is going to give you all the support when you're doing 40 knots in this thing, but also the design of the stainless steel here we actually sat inside cars and like really looked ergonomically, how does, how does your hand actually want to fall to give you the natural strongest point to hang on when you're at, out at sea in a bit of an offshore environment. So right now I feel like I could go for anything really and I feel super safe. You'll see on the side here as well, we've got cup holders. You're able to slide your smartphone in there. That's a smartphone holder. And we'll look at this side here, that there, we have one fitted this side as well. They're scan strut USB outputs there. So if you had your phone, left in there. There's a little notch out in the fiberglass where your, your cable can go in. What else do we have back here? We have fantastic boarding. So quite often, say if you're coming into a pontoon in Sulcum or Dartmouth, if you're gonna be getting people on from the midships or in this hawch area, you'll see we've finished it with a really nice synthetic flexi-teak non-slip pad there. You do have a 
pull up, pop up and down ribeye cleat there as well. So if you leave that pop down, you're not gonna catch your toes on it, which is really cool. But also a standard, what you get on all the ribeyes is this flipping pieces of upholstery. And underneath that, we have more of that lovely flexi tig, which looks fantastic. And most importantly, it's really grippy. So when you're getting on and off the boat, it just works really well and safely. And then if you had someone a little elderly or less mobile, you can of course help them get on. And that's what the ribeye design is all about, safe boarding and usability. So you can just get out there and have a great, great time. Storage, if I just take a knee here, you've got these nice premium catches, as you can see. Beautiful bit of stainless there on the floor as well. And I'm just gonna lift that up. And then as you can see, another benefit of having a deep V hull, which every ribeye has, performance aside is how deep your under deck lockers are. Effectively, the deeper V of your hull, the deeper the lockers are. So we've got a massive space there, which if I just put my leg down, you know, I can't even touch the back of the boat. So you could fit like Yeti cool boxes down there, life jackets, whatever you want. Um, so it's a huge space, but also, as you can see, it's fully polished, finished really well with polished mouldings. And that's what we like to try and do really. You look inside a locker, you'll see, you'll, you'll think the locker will look beautiful. You check inside our console, you'll see beautiful wiring. And that's the engineering you will find throughout the boat. Okay, so before we move to the midships, we'll talk about seating and the console. Um, some of you get a standard on the 683, which is a completely unique feature you will not find on any other rib at this size, is a rear hidden sunbed at the back of the boat. So the rear sunbed can be removed within a few seconds, placed forward of the, um, the bottom of the bench seat, and then you've got this really ni nice wide um, sunbed space, which is um, super soft, and it's actually located at the kind of most stable part of the boat, which is the back of the boat. So it's a really cool feature. You'll see there's two hatches behind the uh, backrest as well for additional storage. You might want to keep like a, I don't know, flares there or just things you don't always have to get to behind there, but it's two more storage lockers, which is really cool. Moving forward, we have our jockey seats specified with this boat. Um, these are really ergonomic, super safe. You can have guests stood behind. If I'm sat down there, again, I've got my good handrails. And at the driver and the navigator seat, we have opted for the wind backrest. So it really feels like someone's kind of holding on to you, holding you into that seat, especially when you apply a bit of power. That allows you to seat seven behind this boat. Now, if you did want to look at potentially some other seat options, we can, we can look at that. So you'll see if you check out our website or our social medias, we do suspension bucket seats that can spin around like a VW California. We can do single jockey seats. We can do lean posts if you want. So just let us know what would work for you. As I say, it's ready to go as you see it, but we could change these if, if, if you needed us to basically. Um, you do have storage underneath these as well. So we've got one locker underneath the back seat, two behind the backrest, three, four underneath the jockey seats, and then we have at least three more lockers forward as well. So I'm gonna move forward now to the navigator seat. Okay, so um, I've just taken a seat in this navigator chair, feeling super comfortable. And the first thing I feel, yes, this is a center console rib, so you've got really good access around both sides of the console without having to ask someone to move or without having to step on a tube, which we think is a bit unsafe. Um, is how enclosed and how encompassed I feel behind this console. We have our riot shoes windscreen design, windscreen design, sorry, which is super square and actually quite close to you with the leading edge quite far away, maximizing your protection. So that works really well on those longer offshore journeys because you can be sat here, you stick your head out to the side and it's amazing the different in sort of wind noise that you'd experience. Really, really works well. You'll see the mouldings here sweep down forward, so it means you can see what's going on in the bow. A bit like looking over the gauges in your car. You know, that bow sort of visibility just means for more safe boating, really, which is really important. And then if we just look at the overall finish of this ergo console, we call this, it just feels premium. You know, if you were to sit behind lots of different ribs, used boats or whatever, so many of our clients come to ribeye and they just sit there and they, they feel this the chunkier Tory steering wheel and feel this nano non glare plastic and they just say this feels fantastic um, and I'm I think I really agree with them because it, it's such a nice looking bit of kit and with the white gel coat the black dash panels and, the, and the, the stainless fittings it all just really pops and feels like super high end quick run through the spec we've got the new nine inch Garmin GPS plotter on there with all your mappage your depth your speed over ground the new Yamaha gauge, which is actually made by Garmin as well. You'll see all the borders all match up, so it looks proper uniform. Um, that gives you your digital data and your speed through the water. You've got your electric trim on there as well. Um, your switch panel, VHF, of course, which you should have, and also your Apollo head unit there by Fusion, which again comes out of the, um, the Garmin factory. So everything kind of ties up really well. Um, you've also got the new Yamaha rigging pack for this year, which is this new throttle system here. So you've got your trim on there. There's a lower button there, which again can be operated. Um, as you see, um, 
it's called speed control. It's a bit like cruise control on your car. Um, so just a fun feature. And also you've got that neutral hold button there as well, which means you can press that. And if you hit the neutral button and you hit, you knock the, the, um, the throttle into gear, it's going to increase the revs, but not actually put you in gear. So it's super safe. You'll see these two little styling features here. These are actually drains because you've got two more cup holders here. We had cup holders at the back of the boat, two more on the dash here. We've got some more at the front, which we'll look at in a bit. And the way we make this console so ergonomic and have all these cool shapes in it is because we manufacture these um, fiberglass pieces using split tooling. So rather than just pulling, say that's a mold, just pulling a single piece straight out of a mold, which gives you quite a basic shape, to get all of these reverse angles, we actually have to build the consoles inside a mold and then we have to take the pieces of the mold apart, which then leaves you this quite advanced shaped console. We have another secondary molding underneath here, for example, which we've finished in black to tie in with the speakers. And that allows us to get a bit more shape here and design in this really cool cubby box and you'll see I've put all the um the Garmin kind of covers and electronic covers in there so I'd also keep my boating cap in there some sun cream maybe some sunglasses that can just live in the boat for the season you slam it you're ready to rock and roll for a bit of boating so that's just something we learned off the back of client feedback with some of our older models just having those kind of something to put your core essentials easily without having to stick your head in a locker to turn something on or to get to get certain items that just works really well and all of our ribeye clients love that Underneath here, you've also got your, um, your isolator switches. So this boat's got dual battery. You've got a house battery and an engine battery. So if you go to the beach, you can turn your engine battery off and just run the house whilst you're enjoying your stereo system for as long as you want. No problem at all. All works really, really nice. So um, ergonomically as well, you've got your foot plate on there. You've got a reverse angle molding. See my toes go underneath the console, maximizing my floor space. Um, and you've got these nice ribeye badges on here as well. But for, from a passenger perspective, I can really hang on because I've got one up there, one handle there, my shoulders are square, that's what you want. It also means I can stand up in, an, in a big sea if I needed to, I could use my legs as suspension, um, which means you can go anywhere you want really. This is a super capable boat. So let's move to the bow. Okay, so we're in another really important part of the boat, which is the bow area. So not only do you see um, in our bow that the, the bow shear comes up a lot, and that accompanies the hull as it comes up, which means it's really capable, really good for sort of in-k, UK chop. Well, that's what we designed it for, so you can just get out there and get back in safely and dryly. But also we wanted to kind of keep this nice and wide up here so it could be used as a social area. So you'll see we have our front console seat here, great handles absolutely everywhere for safety. You've got your spring line cleats here as well for your mooring lines, nice and high so they clear the tubes most likely as well. Lovely bit of ribeye detailing on there. And also you'll see the sort of the effect on the screen there. Every, every, every component fits this boat. It's just built to look quality and premium. And I think this boat looks phenomenal in this color scheme. We have more storage underneath here, as you can see, fire extinguishers fitted down there. Um, you've also got another, quite a large storage locker underneath here, which is a two person guest seat with this comfy backrest you'll see there's more lockers in there. And you can see, you know, the ribeye fitters in Dartmouth, you know, not only are they fitting all the nuts and bolts, but they're fitting these premium seals on there as well. And everything's engineered with proper rain channels because, you know, we've designed things to last. And if you wanted to leave this on the mooring for the season, you know, it might rain sometimes. Yes, the boat come with, comes with a cover, but everything is designed to kind of move the water to the back of the boat. Um, so, that, you know, these boats have come on so much. I'm really, really liking this. In the bow there as well, we have a anchor locker. So we have a compression latch here, which is nice and flush when it's not open. But if I lift this up like so, super deep, it is a drainable locker that as well. So your cup holders drain into there. So none of these cup holders will, cup holders will fill up with water. And if I push that down, line those two dots up, that's, super, that's nice and flush. You've got your pop-up cleat there for your bow mooring line, or if you wanted to tie your anchor on there, and you'll see there's a notch there where my finger's just gone. So when you're running your anchor, you can, um, tie your line around there and just run it into your anchor locker. Now, you'll see there's teacup, there's teacup there and that's not there just to look good. You might want to use this for front boarding from a pontoon. So what we do is standard again in the bow, you'll see these are poppered on here as well. So you've got another non-slip area there. So you can whip that off if you were getting um, friends and family on and off the front of the boat. So everything's super thought out, really refined. Um, and this boat, I think, really represents what, well, what the ribeye is all about, really. Super high levels of finish, 
all based on a really reliable offshore hull. You can literally talk about this 683 for hours, as you can probably tell, and that's because I'm so passionate about the boat we've designed here for the UK and also how good a job the boat builders in Dartmouth are doing. This really is what ribeye is all about, guys. So if you're interested in getting on the water this season, this boat is available now. So if there's any questions, I'd love to hear from you. Hopefully love to see you guys down in Dartmouth at some point so I can give you a proper tour of our epic facilities, meet the designers, meet the rest of the team. Um, and then we can get you on the water for a sea trial in the ribeye demo boat. So let's get you boating this season, guys. I look forward to hearing from you.